again, uh, thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity. Uh, initiatives of this nature surely takes you back, donkey years back. Talk us through such things as how you Ah, look, um, when you start off playing football, you always want to meet with your role models and... Ah, so, sorry to get you. Okay. You see this, this boys? You I see? Mean, I see this. They're putting thing. stuff here by me, they're taking you, yours out. <laughs> okay, no, really good. Yeah, Thanks so key. I was saying, like, when you start football, you always want to, you know, meet up with your role models, you know, um, share a field with them and, you know, just learn from them. I think I started um, at Westbury Arsenal. We had a slight connection with Ajax um, Cape Town back then. You know, I met uh, players like Dylan Shepard. I don't think he remembers, but I, I met um, Nathan Paul, Sir Sean, Sean Pemal, and those were players that I looked up to, you know, and I, I wanted to find myself playing with them one day or, or, or sharing a field with them. And I think initiatives like this is always, is always a good encouragement for the youngsters, and um, I hope that one day we can, you know, do this often, where we, we, we go out to, to the different areas where we, it's difficult for, for certain um, local teams to, to make their ways to, to, to let's say, the, natu the, the, the village here in Naturina, where we as a club can go to teams and just try to encourage the, the, the youngsters, because at the end of it, um, they, they are our future, and uh, I think we need to start uh, investing in them properly. Now, you came back with a bang. First game, you showed Chiefs what the Chiefs went to. Very happy to see you, and you nearly got stole one in that game. Talk us through the recovery and how you felt. Yeah, look, it's 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 been a long five months for me without without playing. You know, just trying to get back to 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 helping the team wherever I can. You know, um, uh, but I, I always had support from my teammates, um, the technical staff and all the, the medical staff here at Kaiser Chiefs, you know, they made it easy for me. And um, obviously I was happy to, you know, get a few minutes against Cape Town City. I couldn't wait to, to, to start playing again. And uh, I, I think I showed a bit of the hunger that, that, that you know, I've, I've missed out. And um, I feel like um, if I keep on you know, working as hard as I, I, I am now, you know, to, to get back into shape and, you know, just try to help the team where I can and, and start scoring goals again. And um, I think that's, that's where I want to be. Now, Kigan, we, we know that it's been a journey of ups and downs, social media and all the, the other issues. So far, how is the morale in the team? Look, I think we have we have a great bunch of, of players, you know, we brought in new players here, but uh, from the, 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 min the minute they got here, you know, they felt at home. Um, I don't think there's anyone that don't talk to, to someone in the team. We all, we all help each other and we, we know, we, 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 we take accountability with whatever we're going through, you know, and we, we're trying to rectify it from training, you know, taking it into games and um, I think um, with this team, there's, uh, I think it's, it's a lot of positives that we can take out of games, you know. Um, uh, yeah, and there, there's individual errors that, that, that ends up to us conceding or, or not winning the game. But I think um, we, we, we're really trying to fix it at training. We, we have lots of team meetings, video sessions where, where we're just trying to, to, to come up with football solutions. And I think that's been our theme. We, we, we don't just want to sulk all the time. We want to come up with football solutions and fix it on the field. And I think with the players we have, you know, we, we really want to um, change the, the, what the media thinks of us and um, what people are trying to say about us, but um, we're really trying to change things around for us. Your wish, your main wish for this season and uh, how achievable is it? I think there's, there's um, still two, three trophies to play for and I think um, uh, we, have, we have the ability to, to, to uh, fight and uh, compete to, to win those trophies, not just to participate in these tournaments or in the league, but we want to go all the way and win at least one cup out of the, the, the four trophies that there is this, uh, up for grabs this year. Now, we know for the fact that all these major breaks, uh, FIFA breaks, and all sometimes do break the momentum that you already built. How will this uh, benefit you guys? Yeah, like I said, we always try to come up with football solutions and it gives us a lot of time now together on the training field where we can come up with solutions and, you know, try to, to improve the way we play and, uh, you know, just try to get better as individuals and as a team collectively. Um, I think also with this time, um, it's, a, it's a good 
time for us to, to, to try and just take our minds off football for a bit and spend time with our families because I feel like that's important because once the games do start again, you know, they come every midweek, weekend. So I think this is also time for us to just take a breather and try to, to, to recuperate and, uh, you know, come back fresh. But I feel like um, times like these are also good for us as, 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 as a team to, and as players to, you know, really get to know each other off the field as well, you know, just have more team building exercises where we can, you know, understand the player off the field, not just on the field.